I've been writing and thinking about uh, home as a concept within sociology and geography for the best part of 30 years. How can we have a discussion about solving homelessness if, we, if we're all carrying around different notions of what home means? What does homelessness mean? Is it more than simply not having a physical shelter? Why is it that people who present themselves as homeless uh, on the streets, um, why have they often given up a, a, a shelter place elsewhere? What's, what is it about that home they're fleeing? One of the things that we celebrate about home is the, is the privacy and independence it gives us. But that very privacy is the same privacy which allows domestic abuse to take place or violence to take place in the home or for us to, to do things which might inherently be bad for us. Um, and that raises all sorts of interesting questions, I think, about the way in which the, the government, the state, might want to intervene in, in preventing people from doing bad or dangerous things. But I don't want that. Do you want that? Do you want your, your own kind of hard fought for one independence and privacy to, privacy to be challenged? So if we're going to think about home as Wales, or home as the UK, or home as Europe, or home as our planet, shouldn't we really have a better understanding of what home means? Yeah, it's this. It's my favourite shirt. I don't know how lucky it is, that's to be determined, but it's certainly my favourite shirt. Look at it. It's, it's, got, it's got cowboys on it. It's just fantastic. It's like the shirt that, uh, that, that, that I would have worn as a, as a five-year-old in the 70s, and it's in a big size. What, what's not to love about that? Vintage clo clothing kilo sales, where you can buy Hawaiian shirts by the kilo kilogram, which is always good fun. <laughs> No, it's a, th it's a thing. Kilo, vi vintage kilo sales. Exercise is good, isn't it? I'd probably go for a, a walk. I'd go for a stern walk. I'd go for an aggressive walk somewhere up a hill, um, playing out some very, very loud post-punk music, some dark wave music to, to kind of uh, make me kind of grr, grr it out, I think. Michel Foucault, because uh, he, he died far too young, a very, very influential philosopher and sociologist, I think if you've got Fuka, you could have Margaret Thatcher there as well. That would be an interesting dinner. I think I'd just get a bottle of wine and sit down and I'd just kind of, I'd ask them questions about stuff and I'd just, I'd just listen. It would be quite funny, I think, really. But people that have inspired me, I mean, people like um, uh, James Burke, the, 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 the scientist in the 70s, and Carl Sagan, fantastic mega bucks TV productions, um, which uh, got me interested in science, even though I'm not a scientist. But um, but also, um, my lecturing style has been likened to that of the stand-up comedian Dave Gorman. Um, and I, that's not a bad thing. I think I'd say, just be less shy, I think. <laughs>